Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you guys like that intro. I'm David, welcome to Tropic Zoo. So pretty much what I wanna do today is just walk you through the cold water tank that we have here. The setup is pretty simple and uh, hopefully this video will be helpful to those who wanna set up their own cold water fish tank. So here we go, let's get into it. I guess I'll start by showing you what kind of fish we have here in the tank. So we have these common Comet goldfish and we got some zebra danios in here. So those are just kind of your average goldfish. And up here, those little um, striped ones are the zebra danios. You can probably tell by their name, striped zebra. Um, so yeah, those are pretty cool. I actually like the zebra danios a lot because they're really super active. And when, um, when you feed them, they kind of go into a frenzy and it's pretty fun to watch. So the size of the tank is a 10 gallon. Um, I'm not really sure what brand it is. I can't remember, but um, I'll put the link in. Uh, I'll put a link in the description of the exact tank. So if you guys like this one, uh, it'll be available for you guys in the description. The actual number of fish I have in there is seven. So we got the three comet goldfish and the four zebra danios. Something I'd watch out for when feeding these guys is um, that. The goldfish can't really keep up with the zebra danios, so the goldfish aren't slow. They're not slow fish, but the zebra danios are so fast and they're just kind of aggressive eaters. So it can be hard for the goldfish to keep up and actually get enough food. So um, just make sure, just be sure that your goldfish are actually eating because as soon as you drop the food in there, I'll show you later, the zebra daniels will just swoop right in and just just eat it, eat it all. So yeah, you gotta be careful with that. The gravel I have in there is just fish gravel from Walmart, no big deal, um, super easy to get, nothing special. So let's talk a little bit about the plants in there, they're uh, pothos vines or pothos vines, I'm not really sure how you pronounce it, uh, I forgot, I, I read it once and I actually really was never sure how to pronounce it. Um, so let me know if I'm pronouncing it wrong, but um, yeah, they take root really well in water. They don't need any type of soil. I just snip these right off of uh, plants in my house because pothos vines are actually pretty common house plants. So I just snipped them right off, dropped them in the water and they took root. So yeah, it's, it was pretty convenient and I'm they're not hard to get either. You can probably find them at your local fish store, your pet store, reptile store, whatever's nearby, even probably at a plant nursery. Again, at Walmart or Home Depot or something. They're not hard to find and they're really good. You can see them sprouting roots right there. There's some of the roots. So yeah, these guys are really great uh, aquarium plants, especially for freshwater, cold water. So something I really like about these cold freshwater fish tanks is that they're super easy to maintain. It's honestly, it's kind of, if you've ever had like just a normal fish bowl, it's kind of just like keeping a fish bowl. It's just bigger and you can kind of add more decor inside. So it's pretty cool. Um, you will need a water filter. I have, I think it's the Cascade 300. Um, yeah, it's a pretty good filter. Um, the water temp is really easy to maintain. It should be between 60 to 70 degrees. It's pretty much room temperature. These guys don't need any type of um, special heating. So when it comes to feeding these guys, standard fish food will do. I have these uh, variety pellets here that I got from Walmart. Just goldfish variety pellets, super standard stuff. It's just a goldfish. Really think of it as just owning like, it's like I said, it's just like having a fish bowl with a filter and a little extra room. Um, but yeah, you got those goldfish variety pellets. You'll find them at your local fish store. Pet stores will have them. I also like to feed them these uh, tiny little mealworms right here. These are pretty cool, especially for the zebra danios because the zebra danios will like feeding frenzy on them. Um, so yeah, I got them off of Rainbow Mealworms. It's a website I like to get my mealworms off of because it's super cheap and they deliver right to your door. You can also just pick them up at your local pet store. Uh, everywhere will have these mini meal. So here we go. I got four little mealworms on this little, the top to the little mealworm cup. I'm only putting four in because I actually fed them not too long ago before I filmed this. 
I don't want to overfeed them. But there you can see the zebra daniels go crazy already. There you go. They're, the, they're always the first ones to eat. The goldfish will kind of eat after, but the zebra daniels are like as soon as you drop the food in, they're they're eating. I think one of them got a mealworm. Yep, look at him. He's got it in his mouth. It's crazy how the goldfish are so much bigger, but the daniels are kind of like the alphas of the tank. Like the goldfish kind of just back off when the daniels are eating. It's kind of funny. So yeah, when I first started feeding them mealworms, uh, I didn't really intend for the daniels to eat them because I didn't think they'd be able to because I thought they were gonna be, I thought the mealworms were gonna be too big, but they uh, they actually eat them more than the goldfish now. So that's pretty cool. All right, so that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, I'm gonna try to provide links in the description for everything you guys will need for a tank like this. Um, these cold water tanks are pretty easy to take care of and I highly recommend them for beginners. All right, please like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.